Hello guys, I'm Zhang Min Li. Uh, this is the first video I take for my in, uh, major course, the English presentation. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm trying to my best. So today I want to talk about uh, TED Talk. What do we watch together in Adam's office? The title of the TED Talk is the Your Body Language Shapes Who You Are by by Amy Cuddy. The speaker. Keynote speaker Amy Cuddy is uh, the as a social socialist. She's uh, trying to study about the how body language can affects on the our minds. She also works on the nonverbal communications as well. So I want to try to find out some ideas from the. Uh, video but it was really hard to understand what she said at once so I tried to uh, watch it uh, more than five times so I got some ideas from it so let's let me tell you now so what I impressed from the video is the some ideas the first thing that impressed for me is the about the story of the MBA students. Uh, in the video she said that the MBA students when they came to the uh, school and the classroom they are sitting on the middle of the classroom and they occupy the room. It, it's a very related with the how they use the, their body. Uh, by sitting on the middle of the class they are Occupy the whole whole classes, and they also influence influence. They are influencing to the uh to their classmates who are the uh, professor. I think uh, they shows their presence. However, in my case, I have uh, my experience. I have some experience about the totally different with this situation. Uh, so let me tell you now. So last year, uh, when I came back to the university after I uh, finished my break, I saw the totally different situation in the classroom. When I came into the classroom, there was a number of uh, students are sitting sitting on the back of the classroom and they couldn't could not get into the class and they also they even also did not eye contact with the customers i think it, it is also kind of the body language or nonverbal communication by showing themselves sitting on the background or the just to doing the smartphone like that it means that I don't want to study it at here and I'm not interested in your class. Even though they want to get the high higher grade. I was not but I was included included that group. I don't I didn't I don't know why but when I came into the uh, classroom I naturally sitting back of the class so at the middle of the semester I changed my mind so I came not mine I just changed my body uh, I uh, sit sat down on the foreground of the class and I talked with the professor much and when I have a question I raise your hands hands like that and I ask some questions if, if whether I know whether I know the the problem, I asked twice or three times again. So it makes I just changed my body, but it also brings some confidence where the uh, confidence so I can focus much better on the class. I think so. I when I hear that when I hear her speech, I really impressed about that, and I thought about this my experience
I think it's the changing, not changing, just the faking ourselves to the classroom where the class material is the first step, I think. By faking, like uh, you sh just to shoot, uh, you go to the in front of the desk and the eye contact with the customers and ask something what you don't know and hang out with the friends like that. If you want to get a good grade, it's a really helpful, helpful, I think, even though you are not interested in because the body's change can also can change your minds and it will bring the best most important thing it will bring the good grace for you and also I want to talk about the second stuff is second thing is the how she present presents about the uh, skills she used a lot of skills in the this video uh, but the impressive thing I think was two things she used a lot of the uh, visual aids like the photo video I think this is the most important thing to attract uh, people attract the people and also they can get into the uh, speech by sh by watching the video or the photo and also she used the statistic like a graph so she used the hormone she used the hormone of the graphs it's a really good method to support her idea and convince the audience to understand her speech so if it's I think it's these are these things are really good for the presentation uh, if time goes by and if I chance to if I have a chance to make a presentation I will use these kinds of the statistic and the photo and video to attract my uh, audience thank you for watching my video and this is the first time I've tried to make my video so Next time I will do better, I think. Thank you.